Yes, I have another um, sober message tonight for the Ron Paul folk. I'm tempted to call them Ron Paul fanatics. Or uh, what else can you call them? I call them Ron Paul boppers. Um, because they're kind of a very, they're very excited and very, um, almost immaturely excited. <laughs> uh, but, uh, here I'm in Michigan and Ron Paul has lost again. Uh, he didn't break 10% in Michigan. Uh, this is despite being in all the, almost all the debates and getting uh, lots of airtime on, uh, I don't know, CNN and you got it on uh, the Meet the Press and I don't know, uh, did you, you get on ABC, maybe ABC in the morning, I don't know if CBS bothered to interview you or not, but you got pretty good coverage. And of course, oh, and then of course the internet. You were all over the internet every day, every single day. You're on the internet, and, and not just in a few places, wall to wall. Ron Paul, man, you kicked butt in the internet. Unfortunately, kicking butt in the internet um, <laughs> doesn't amount to much, I guess, uh, in the uh, non-cyber world. But uh, we were talking about. Um, Oh, the internet and your coverage. Yeah, um, I always thought the Republican Party was the party of war. Endless war. Um, and not just endless death, but endless spending of money. Endless commitment. No diplomacy. Uh, shoot first. Ask questions later. Make plans later. But just start the thing and just see what happens. And all the Republican candidates agree with, with the warmongering policy of the Republican Party. And the... Well, I don't know how Ron Paul was supposed to win in the Republican Party with an anti-war completely, totally anti-war message. <laughs> the 180 degree opposite of almost every single Republican in the Congress, um, certainly the administration, all the Bushies, they're all, they're all neocons. So I don't know how Ron Paul was supposed to carry off this trick. <laughs> uh, I don't think he... I don't think he ever really thought he was going to carry on. And then, of course, the, you Ron Paul folk aren't really Republicans, right? Let's let's be candid about this. You guys are not Republicans, and you you're kind of well, you're not really into the process. You're kind of you don't vote ever. You know, you don't really vote. And yeah, 2000 wasn't really a choice. Yeah, in 2004 there were only nine Democrat candidates. So there wasn't really a choice there, and Ron Paul didn't get off his butt in 2004 and bother to run against George Bush when he should have. Yeah, so you guys are kind of inactive for long periods of time until you, you get all excited one time. You get excited, like this time. You get all excited and you get 8% of the vote or 7% of the vote or maybe 9 nine or 10%. Ooh, wow. Um, so you've lost again. Now the question for you, Ron Paul folks, which I posed in another uh, video was, what do you do after Ron Paul? And I've, in my video, I got him crashing and burning when it, when the whole thing just flops. Do you go home and you just say, oh, the, I didn't get my candidate. My candidate didn't win. Oh, it's the system. It's the it's rigged. It's the media. It's the bankers. It's the it's and you got excuse after excuse after excuse, and then you just go home, I suppose, and you kind of sulk. 
But uh, it looks like Ron Paul is going to continue to lose. So uh, your guys are going to have to think, oh, what are you going to do now? I guess you're going to go back to the basement or back to the cabin or whatever and, you know, hibernate for the next 20 years. I, I don't know. 